Hello, hello, hello! Welcome and well met! I caught my cord on something. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, cords. There's a lot of cords today. Okay. <clears throat> I'm Leona Theodosia, and today we are playing Endless Ocean Blue World, which is the second game in the series, and the third game's about to come out. <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> I like this fish game. Anyway, today we're going to be going to one of the arguably most interesting, like, areas in the game. Actually, in the series so far. <laughs> we'll see if it stays that way. The Veil C for the third game coming out looks interesting, because it seems like it's somewhat, like, randomly generated, which kind of, I'm like, hmm, on one hand, this could be cool, because there's always new things to explore, pretty much. But on the other hand, I'm like, but I won't know where the fish are. <laughs> We'll see how I like it. I'm still looking forward to it, because fish! <laughs> if, you, if you didn't see my first video of Endless Ocean, you will not know how much I like the fish. Especially butterfly fish. I like butterfly fish. Anyway, should probably get into the fish game. Boop. Okay, little buddy, you gotta go. Alright. Oh, chat kind of blocked. I want, should I put chat near me? Or that be blocking? Huh. Maybe chat would be better if it's like down below. I don't think there's too much in the corner of this game. Like, hmm. <laughs> where to put chat? <laughs> As per usual, it's very hard to figure out where to put a chat box. Um, let's see. All right. Yes. Uh, in my first stream, oop. <laughs> in my first stream, we went to Gamma Atoll, which is the first area. Zero so straight. Is that area? I don't actually remember if it's actually the second area. It, it, you know, this actually might be in the order you go to them. But yeah. The zero, the zero straight. I just need to see. That's where we're going today, but, uh. Right. Uh, I was saying where I was going yesterday, but. Went yesterday, but yeah. Gamma Atoll. We went there. We went to the Cortica River in South America. And we went to the Sahab region in the Red Sea. So, yeah. The only plate overall areas we haven't been to are the Sierra Strait, which we're changing today, and the two Arctic. <laughs> the really, really cold places. <laughs> Oops. I forgot one. There's the Weddell Sea. It is down below. So it's like, do you want to be in the cold place up north or do you want to be in the cold place up down south? We'll see if we go to one of those areas today. Depends on how much we stay here. I. Could very easily spend the whole day here, so we'll see. <laughs> Though I do kind of- I, I don't know which one it is, I don't remember. I think it's in the Canada, up in the north. Let's dive down into Cicero's- Cicero's Strait. Yeah. <laughs> I am getting tongue-tied. The cat has got my tongue. I need to go find this cat and tell it- tell it off. <laughs> Oh wait, I can Like, it loads actually pretty quickly. <laughs> and I keep forgetting I need to hit a button. <laughs> Why am I like this? Okay. Let's see. If we're... <coughs> oh jeez, why is my throat suddenly so... Right up. Water. And I... Take a dive buddy while I open up my water bottle. I don't think so. Let's see. Well, I'm not bringing the pizza. The key is fresh water, and I only like bringing the fresh water often when we go to the Amazon. I think you find. Written here is a false killer whale. I think you find the false killer whale here? I'm not 100% <laughs> Nithori. <laughs> I was supposed to be Nithori, but it's Nithori, because. I forgot. I forgot exactly how to do it. I think I'll bring Ren. Come here, buddy. Oh, right. Let's see. It's daytime right now. Yeah, Triton Village Ruins. That's where I want to go eventually. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's whirlpools. I think 
they're still here, even in Post Story. I'm not entirely sure. It's been a while since I played this. <laughs> Undyke. Let's just head up all the way up here and we can... Oh yeah, I think this is pretty chill area, so it'll be a nice little opener as I warm up playing this game again, because the controls are quite interesting. They're actually a little janky on the land, but they work really well underwater. Because you just literally point and you push the B trigger, because this is a Wii mode, so you have a B trigger instead of a button. Oh yeah, lots of fish. All the fish. And for anyone who's played this game, yes, I have the full Poseidon set <laughs> in this file. I only ha I helped only a little bit, I think, in this file up until now. I think it was mostly done by uh, another person. Ooh, jeez, that dropped off real quick. Immediately, everyone who hates deep water is upset right now. <laughs> I'm fine. It has to be a lot deeper than this. Ooh! Are you immediately sailfish? I think I- yeah! Indo-Pacific sailfish. The thumbnail is not clickbait. Oh, you're more white. I could not find a good picture of these guys. I did get the fact they were brown. They do look high red. <laughs> let's see, let's see. Your fish is on the thumbnail. At least I attempted to draw this fish for the thumbnail, so. Oh, hello! Hello, Bengabe! <laughs> on the... Oh, I don't even know how to begin to pronounce that, but I'm going to assume that means you are scared of deep water. <laughs> Yeah, they are definitely screaming right now. You got it in one, Vingame. <laughs> okay, let's see. <clears throat> well, these guys can get to 11 feet 6 inches. Oh, you know, I should probably have my little calculator out that has the... The, uh, measurements. So people who don't use the Imperial system, they use the metric system. I said point. I don't even know. <laughs> I'm like, well, 11 feet is over 335 centimeters. <laughs> so that will give everyone who's not using the imperial system, who's using the metric system, some idea of how big this fish is. Okay. Let's see what it says. This fish has a large sail-like dorsal fin and a long snout. It suddenly unfurls its giant dorsal fin right in front of its prey, confusing them and leaving them unable to swim normally. It uses this opportunity to strike the fish with its long snout and then eat... Then it eats the weakened prey. Ooh. I think this... Oh, you know, I don't think I ever mentioned this button just makes you look at the fish. <laughs> I always ignored it in the first stream. <laughs> that probably was driving some people nuts. Yeah. Speed key! This fish's body is developed to make it swim faster. It has indentations on its dorsal and pelvic fins to decrease water resistance and ridges to stabilize its swimming trajectory. It can reach speeds of over 60 miles an hour and holds the title of the world's fastest fish. That's pretty fast. Not gonna lie. <laughs> I think like a cheetah runs like 30 miles. I don't, do I have it so it's mine? Area no. That's all you speeds. Speed. No, that's not helpful. <laughs> is there miles in here? Yeah, there is. <laughs> Let's see. Oh no, that's well this is miles, but it's oh it's two centimeters. I need to switch it to <laughs> kilometers, that's fair. Right. That is ninety-six kilometer over ninety-six kilometers. There you go. <laughs> This is just me poking at my converter here <laughs> sometimes. Okay. Oh! Oh! Oh, oh, oh! Where are you? I just saw you! Where are you? I showed you off in the book. You were just here. Where are you? You shitey little thing. Okay, if you ever see in the VOD, or watch it again, and you notice there was like an orange colored sailfish. That's, um, oh gosh, I should, I should know what it is. It's a move in Final Fantasy XIV. You throw the spear, it, because of the G, it's a legendary spear, and there is 
One of these Indo-Pacific sailfish is a legendary fishy. I didn't think it was out in the day. I thought it only showed up at night. Where is it? Ren, come here. We need to find the sucker. I, oh, wait. Wait, is it behind chat? What is the button I need to push? Okay, no. I have to push the button behind chat. Okay. <laughs> is it pop? Okay, it does make a sound. All right. Oh, I don't have to have the chat forever away. I just need to know the rough area. Where is this stupid fish? It was like hanging out for a little bit and it goes off. Who knows where? I'm also kind of scared. I don't like going in the deeper water. The deeper water is definitely this way. Oh, there's sharks. This is also why I don't like going over here. The sharks are very nasty. Ooh. Pineapple. No. <laughs> I did this wrong. Wait, the map is one. <laughs> I'm like, I know I can pull up the map when I'm holding on to a dolphin buddy. I know they're not all dolphins, by the way. I'm just going to use the word dolphin because I'm trying to... What are they called? I never seem to remember. Uh... Citations! Citations? Something like that? It includes dolphins and whales. And yeah. Okay. I have no idea where it is. Oh, wait! There you are! There you are! You shitty thing! Come here! <laughs> you! <laughs> you! You, you, you! <sighs> eee! No, get back here! <gasps> ah! <laughs> Watching you. Watching you. Ren, don't get in my way, honey. Look at the fish! Haha! Come here! Yes! Legendary fish! <laughs> oh, I should read it. Yeah, see, it's got the question marks, so that means it's a legendary. Or mythical. There's mythic. <laughs> you wanna play Pokemon now? <laughs> anyway, it's a special fishy or, or aquatic life form. They're not all fish. Uh let me, let me read Gungnir's. Uh, little description here. Oh, he's got two. Okay. Got two like the rest. Okay, that. <laughs> this monstrous sailfish is the talk of fishermen throughout the South Pacific. He is sly and ferocious and swims several times faster than any normal sailfish. A number of fishing boats were damaged when he rammed them. Some fishermen tried to catch this monster, but they fell victim to his attacks instead. He is called Gungnir after a magic spear in Norse mythology. Mutation? Genetic defect? <laughs> also, <laughs> citations. Citations. <laughs> Are we doing writing papers? Also, citations. Citations. Citations? I can't hear the difference very well, but thank you, Bengami. Okay, mutation genetic defects. There are cases of unusual physic char physical characteristics that can only be described as mutations, but Gugnir's fundamental body structure is the same as that of any normal sailfish. His muscles are overdeveloped, probably because of a genetic defect sometimes found in dogs or cows where a gene-suppressing muscle growth is defective, but it has not yet been confirmed. That is a true thing! There is a mutation that makes it so your muscles grow bigger. But yeah, that's Gungnir. Goodbye! You shaky thing. Rin, come here. Rin is not a shaky thing. <laughs> Hopefully this helps. Set set versus sight. Ah, so like set cetation. Sight. Cetation. Oh, cetation, not citation. Cetation. Okay, I get it now. Thank you for coming. <laughs> Why did I do this? Alright. I guess we're looking at Rin. False killer whale marked with an X that you befriended in the Sulkin Volca Castle. Okay, I remember correctly. This is a place I wanna go. <laughs> Spoilers! <laughs> There's gonna be plenty in this game. <laughs> it can find rare items using its knowledge of the castle and keen sense of smell. I did not want to talk to him. I actually just wanted to grab onto him. <laughs> Come here, buddy! Come here! Oh, I just realized he... We named her Rin because of a different character, but that suits very well with Rin Amamiya with uh, Persona 5, which I found out apparently in the Persona 5X, the Phantom Thieves, is 
Definitely. Oh, are you grumpy ones or are you friendly ones? I think this one's actually the friendly one. Yeah, these guys are hammerheads! Oh, wait, that's the wrong button. Minus. Minus. <laughs> I need to let go. Ooh, that's a nice little music. Hello! I want to turn up the music, but I also probably YouTube would yell at me. <laughs> Gallop's hammerhead! I I'm not gonna read about it, but. Beeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
I'm gonna zap you. Jeez, I'm just swimming here, man. Leave me alone. Come on. Swim this way. <laughs> but yeah, that's all that happens when you get attacked by a shark. <laughs> they don't even bite you, they just slap you in the face. Ooh, these are trigger clownfish, I think? I I'm obviously not very- yeah, clown triggerfish, okay. I said trigger cloudfish. <laughs> I got the name kinda right. Look at these guys! Okay, wait. No, I'm failing. <laughs> Again. <laughs> I am discombobulated today, clearly. Yeah. Oop. Thank goodness for the camera. Look at the fishy! <laughs> They have spots! Ew. I think those are stingrays. I pulled up the map again. What does it say about them? <clears throat> this fish is easily identified by its white polka dot underbelly and orange puckered up mouth. The young fish have polka dots over their entire body and are popular aquarium fish. However, they need to be handled with care as they have a short temper and a tendency to bite with their sharp teeth. They have teeth. The art of self-defense. When it feels threatened, it hides in crevices and rocks or coral and then straightens its dorsal... As in dorsal fin? Oh, dorsal and pectoral fin. Okay, that's where it's going. <laughs> to wedge itself in and avoid being dragged out. This makes it hard to catch and often results in the predator giving up. Wow. <laughs> it's stubborn. <laughs> it's a stubborn fish. <laughs> How interesting. <laughs> Ren, what are you doing? We're not near any- I don't think we're any- Yeah, we're not in any near surfacing area, but... Sure, why not? You can still just pop your head out and look over. It does change up here. You can stick your head in and out. Not that there's any landmarks or something, really. Typically... But if you do pop your head out in different areas, it will change. Is there like rabbies down here? What is oh oh it's an anchor. Oh. Is there stuff over here, Ren? What do you gotta say, buddy? No, oh, he's doing loop de loops. <laughs> doing loop de loops. Wee! <laughs> I forget I can do that. <laughs> Keep heading down. Oh wait, are these more Indo-Pacific sailfish? The more perch. Ooh, what are you guys? You guys are bright orange. European parrotfish. Okay. Yeah, those are definitely Indo-Pacific sailfish. Hi! <laughs> wait, if I just take out some fish food, what will happen? Who wants food? <laughs> I got all their attention! <laughs> I love that so much. Okay, unequip. B is it just for a <laughs> That's so silly. I'm like, how to get a bunch of fish in your face holds out food. Fish. Hey! <laughs> Typical. <laughs> Typical. If you're hungry. <laughs> I mean, I also give my undivided attention if offer food. <laughs> I mean, okay, you know what? Fair enough, Bengami. Fair enough. <laughs> okay, wait, is it around the one? No, it's not around this one. Oh, but there is. Yeah, the blue dome and the red dome are kind of interesting. Let's head to. Wait, was the red or blue one? Oh, blue dome. <gasps> These guys! They're like Trevalia? Trevala? I think they show up in Luminous. Oh, hello. Bunch of fish in face. Giant Trevali! Yeah! Hi! Hello, fishy! Hi, my fishy. Are you guys tuna? Atlantic bluefin tuna! Ah, yeah, I know my shape of tuna. You see them enough in Japanese media. <laughs> These fish have spindle-shaped bodies that narrow to an extreme point at the base of the tail fin. Though they have very large cone-shaped heads, their eyes are actually quite small. 
Their traditional coloring is brown and black, white on the, their bellies. Keep on moving. A tuna swims with its mouth open and takes oxygen from the water that passes through its gills. If it stops moving, it will suffocate. This is why it lowers its metabolism and speed at night, but never stops swimming. Whoa. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that brings new meaning to, like, just keep swimming. <laughs> it's like, or else you'll suffocate to death. <laughs> Whoa. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. I didn't know you guys showed up in the day either still. <gasps> Ooh. Hold on, are you guys golden eye rock? No, no, you are not squirrel fish. Or a splendid alphonse. There's an octopus! I'm getting distracted by everything. <gasps> There's octopi! Come an octopus. Oh, hello, Margaret. Welcome, welcome. It has eight tentacles. They're not tentacles, I thought. I should say arm. <laughs> tentacles are a little bit different. They should have. I think tentacles, they have to have a hook at the end. Octopuses don't necessarily have hooks at the end of their arms. They just have squiggly noodle arms. They are just called arms, like legitimately. <laughs> but okay, I guess it's just using that because I didn't bother. Yeah, see, there's some inaccuracies, unless my informa information is incorrect, but eh. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm no marine biologist. Okay. It has eight tentacles equipped with suction pads growing from its round body, with a membrane between each one. The tentacles can also divide one o- Oh. Can also divide. One octopus was found to have 96 tentacles. It can change color to blend in with its surroundings, and it uses this ability to protect itself. One of its favorite foods is crab. Wait. So if its arms get damaged, it can just- get more arms and become a big squiggly mess. Interesting. Don't they have, like, mini brains in their arms, too? Octopuses are weird. Okay, that's enough octopus today. For today. <laughs> that's enough octopus for today. <laughs> okay, manta ray! Big! Easy, easy, easy. Manta ray! I was tempted to draw these in the thumbnail, but I thought they would only come out at night or they're more rare. I, did, I forgot that they actually just swim around in an area. Well known to the general public as well to divers. This is the world's largest ray. Each manta ray has a unique pattern of, the, of back spots on its stomach. Oh, black spots, not back. It has a unique pattern of black spots on its stomach. It helps to tell them apart. These black spots can spread across the entire stomach, making some manta rays appear entirely black. They sometimes jump out of the water, but this is thought to be because they are startled or trying to remove parasites. Ooh. Oh, hello, Grandma Iris. Welcome, welcome. Looks cozy. The world word manta also means blanket or cloak. Oh, really? Oh, like mantle? Is that- is that why we have mantle? Because that's a type of cloak, like, clothing garment thingy. Where is- where is manta from? I mean, is that, like, Greek? Latin? I, I don't know. <laughs> Give me the root face, game! <clears throat> okay. <laughs> I'll read from the top again. Yes, fishy, fishy, fishy. Oh my god, that makes so much sense! <laughs> <laughs> See, this is why I like the fish games. I love Endless Ocean. You learned fish facts. Let's see. <clears throat> I'll read it from the top. The word manta also means blanket or cloak, which fits its large flat body. It has a distinct fins on either side of its mouth, developed from pectoral fins. These look like horns, so the manta is also known as the devilfish. Oh. You know, I've heard, I obviously knew of that before, because there's no way I didn't read the, a manta ray's description, but I forgot about that. Look at them all! There's actually quite a few. Where am I, exactly? Oh, I am on the way to the blue dome. Go this way. Ooh. Look at you. You are a colorful fish. Five color parrot fish. Interesting. I pulled up the map again instead of pushing the right. <gasps> eel! There's an eel! 
Go look at it. Oh, there's tiny. What are you? You guys are tiny. See, Goldie. What are you guys doing here out in the open? Okay. See, Goldie. I can't go away. Wait. You make me think of goldfish, but you're not goldfish. Sudanthus squam squammy peanut. And this been found something. Hold on. Right there. Three sensor. Where did you find? You were squeaking over Oop. Oh, oh, over there. Over there. Rin found something. <laughs> My little phantom thief. Oh, he found a treasure box. <clears throat> I wonder how good it's going to be. Well, it's got to be good. It's from Rin. Okay. Sometimes backing out is minus. Oh, pick cursory, search D&D, pull up Latin as its root language. Nice to see that we're learning as you play. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Exploration and learning and lots of species and other aquatic life because I don't think manta rays count as fish. Looking forward to getting luminous. Yes, I'm very much looking forward to getting luminous. I mean, it feels like it's going to be quite different because it seems like it actually does randomly, well, to some extent, randomly generate um, the environment when you dive. I'm thinking it sounds like you might be able to save certain maps to keep them if you like them. And I guess that's not confirmed. Don't hold me to it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. There's a. What are you doing, Ren? Ren. Ren, why do you keep attacking, like, the surface? You're a silly little... You silly little cephalopod. Why did I call you a cephalopod? That's a squid. Bad me. Um, you silly little dolphin. Ooh! Blue spotted prays! <laughs> blue spotted ribbon tail prey. Yeah, I remember that they were called Blue Spotted Rays. Obviously, I shortened it to Blue Spotted Rays, so I forgot about the Rift Tail. Oh, it's some more keen angelfish. These guys. Misty Sparkle. Oh! Oh, there was another one over there? Okay. Oh! There's blue tangs here, too! Or Sturgeon Fish. Or as people now, because of Finding Nemo, like to call Dory Fish. Oh, oh, this place is cool because it's actually worth sticking your head out, which is why I wanted to come here. Ta-da! There's murals! I don't know if there's an equivalent in real life. I, I don't think so? But it is cool in this game. You've got... I think there's supposed to be dolphins. And there's people. <laughs> okay. Back, <laughs> back underwater. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. And if you notice, this place is called Blue Dome. The mural had some blue blue on it. And there's a bunch of blue colored fishies here. So, yeah, that's why. <laughs> they purposefully did that. <laughs> but I, I, I missed a thing over here. Did I? He's a good buddy. Oh, I never clicked on the eel because I got distracted by like literally everything around it. <laughs> okay, let's try. Oh, oh, yeah. There's a sparkle. It's over here. I don't think that's what Rin was speaking at, though. I think I did get the one Rin was speaking at. Looks like Minoan or like something free. This is. Oh! If you're meaning that sparkle, it's a zoom in sparkle. Oh! It's a sea slug! Spotted white sea slug! Tiny! Where's my camera? Let me zoom in. <laughs> I still can't zoom in further. <laughs> Oop! Nope. I didn't want to do that. It's tiny! A little sea slug. Definitely worth looking at in your, um... Oh, it stayed zoom in. Ooh, I... Oh, oh. Right. He's like... <laughs> He's so tiny. Look at it. 
It's just a little guy. Okay. <laughs> What's going more reading? Oh, it's really short. Oh my gosh, it's like as big as your pinky finger. Actually, it's smaller than your pinky finger. <laughs> well, lengthwise, it's shorter, I guess would be... I it should have phrased it as, but anyway. This white sea slug with black spots floats on the ocean currents after hatching from its egg. Although it has a shell at birth, it discards it as it develops. <gasps> they have shells? Ooh, I forgot about that. So they, their little babies have shells, and then it grows up. And then it doesn't have a shell. Cool! <laughs> okay. Back out. So there's Pluto. Why is it buzzing? Oh, it's buzzing because of the sea goldies. I already looked at you. I didn't read your description, but I, if I read every fish's description, I'd be here for like four hours. Which some of you probably wouldn't mind if I played this for four hours. <laughs> but yeah, uh... Uh, Cicero's... Cicero Strait is... Oh, it told me. It told me, but I don't remember. I have it in the beginning of the video. I forgot, but it is over... Um, it, near where Italy is. We are in the Mediterranean Sea. <laughs> so, if it looks Minoan... And like around Crete and stuff. That that's not surprising. We're in that part of the world. <laughs> oh yeah, I can still do a flippy trick. Oh wait, is that where I need to go? Yes, it is. Oh hold on. Wait, if I'm here, that means yeah. Is that big dastard down here? Is the giant jerk down here? I don't want to go down there. <laughs> I'm just like looking for the shadows in the deep water. I'm like, where are you? I know the grumpiest grump of a shark is over here. <laughs> Somewhere, if he is actually spawned in. Ooh, look at the fishies. Red dome. Wait, what are you? Japanese angel shark. As you can see, they're kind of red in color. I'm gonna run into you. <laughs> Fish! <laughs> Ooh, it's a teeny fit. Aren't you the sea goldies? Ooh, hi, okay. Oh yeah, you did. <gasps> oh! Wait, wait, wait. Oh, do you turn red? Oh, the sea goldies can turn... Okay, I'll read about them. Did I read about the sea goldie? I don't think I did. This vivid orange fish often gathers in large schools near coral reefs, and the females far outnumber the males of the group. The species has more females than males overall. The males have distinct characteristics such as a red-violet pattern on their pectoral fins and elongated red-light tips on their fins. Try finding the males in a school if you see them near the sea, sea anemones. Oh, wait. <laughs> that was yesterday. Oh, so they, they changed it. Are you just squeaking around or did you find something? I'll go check. Oh, no, he found something. <laughs> Red is a productive little guy. Then again. Hi! That scared me. I think that means it's a really good thing. But that still scared me. Because I forgot that was a thing. Well, now we know. <laughs> so. Let's see. That's a dude. Boy. <laughs> it sounds like they changed gender. Yeah, yesterday's mom, today's dad. Young sea goldies are all born female and become male when they are fully grown. Not all, fe all females become males. Only large females change sex. About 10 to 30 percent of fish in a large school are male, while small schools may only have a single male. Boy. <laughs> That's why the sea goldies are here, is because the dudes are red. That is a lot. Ooh, there's a close up. What is here? 
Oh my god, Tiny. What are you? <gasps> Baby clown trigger fish! Guys! It's the baby! Do you fishy want the foodie? Oh my gosh. Let's bounce back. <laughs> Whenever that happens, it just makes me think. Yeah, they're tiny little trigger fish. Look at them! They're so tiny! Yee, bippies! Oh, if I shake. I poke them. Okay, stop poking the fish. Don't poke the fish. <laughs> I didn't know I could do that. Oh, wait. I have to poke my head. Okay. Let's poke my head up. Here. Oh, wait. Trin, what did you find? I hear you. Where are you? Oh, it's right in the middle there, huh? Something good. Well, he was over here. I'm over here. <laughs> it's like we interrupt looking at the cool mural. Because my... Oh! He, he wasn't trying to tell me there's treasure. He's trying to tell me there's baby trigger fish there. I already found that, buddy. Thank you. Let me take a look at the mural for more than one. <laughs> yeah, this one looks like the other one, but it's red. And it's red dough. <laughs> oh yeah, you can get closer to it if you're closer to the wall. Yeah, it looks more like a doll here. Swim really up close. Yeah, I can still search. I'm right at the wall. <laughs> Hello there! <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> Alright, back under I go. <laughs> Alright. I don't want to go over here, but... <laughs> I bumped into a rock. Well, I do want to go over here. I just don't want to go all the way over here, really. <laughs> There's tiny fish right here! I didn't know that. What is here? Damselfish? Yeah, the dam golden tailed damosel. I think did we I think we might have found these the first stream? Or we found some damosel fish. Where are you guys? Where are you? Who took it? A gold eye rock fish. Okay, you don't have. I just wanted I wanted to see if they had a separate page. I don't know why, but I did at the time, so I went and looked. Carefully go over here. Yeah. yeah, and see, it's proving my point. It's playing the creepy, suspenseful music. Not that you may be able to hear that, but it is. I can hear it. Are you around here? Where are all those? Okay, he may not be here in the day. Good. Because all I see is sailfish. When he's around, he should have a bunch of, uh, a bunch of uh, other sharks. Now I need to find the whale. Well, oh, there it is. Oh, Brin found something. Brin found something. Oh, no, no. Thank you for not having a problem. <laughs> My multi sensor. <laughs> did you find? Oh, did you find the fish spot? Yeah, you did. You found the fish spot. Yes, I saw that. Thank you, Ren. <laughs> Like, did you find treasure to find the fish spot? I'm gonna go under here. The was entertaining aquatic buddy, but I oh. Okay. Bye Vengame. Have a good time. <laughs> Thank you for coming. Do, 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 do. Yeah, less fish, but there's lots of close-up fish. Not a lot of coral. Not a lot of I think that means like whales and dolphins. There's a bunch of treasure. Valka Castle. Oh yeah, a GNC. Okay, so yeah, this is Ciceros Strait, the GNC. There we go. We're gonna find all the treasure. 
<laughs> you can pretty much go anywhere in here and find treasure. We're in the well. Look at the map. I'm like, how far is it? This is the entrance. Yeah, well bottom. Spiral tower. Go in here. Fish. Tiny fish. Look at you. Ah, I can't click. Oh, I clicked on Ren. Hi, Ren! <laughs> I wasn't trying to look at you. Sorry, buddy. Blue, green, promise. Interesting. They're very small. Oh, there's a fish located. Oh. No. What are you? Luminescent sea slug. <gasps> they do glow! Hello! Wee! <laughs> It's a glowy sea slug. Cool. Oh, and I think that's another bicolor parrotfish. Was it? Bicolor parrotfish? Bicolor parrotfish. My memory isn't completely bogus. <laughs> oh, this is cool. Oh, there's sharks. What are you? Me, me, Negra? Ooh. Like, seriously. What's up with you guys? Been around here. <laughs> Negra. Large doll serve of fish can make a drummy noises by beating an air chamber inside its body. It also croaks like a frog. Large numbers of them gather in shallows during breeding season. You can have frog noises in the ocean? Cool! <laughs> I'm having a good time. <laughs> if I probably, you know, I've probably read most of these, but even so, <laughs> I don't remember so much. More hammerheads. Are you scalloped? Yep, you're still scalloped hammerheads. But we also got boom jellies. Jelly, jelly, jellyfish. You know, I don't think we read about them. Did we read about them? No, we we did. We did in the first stream. Yeah, over ninety-five percent of its transparent body is made up of water. <laughs> I'm not reading the whole thing. I read a, I read that one already in the first stream. That was only one stream ago, so. Uh, where is door? Should be an entryway somewhere. This one's blocked off. I think it's a bit down. Yeah, okay, over here. I could have checked my map to know at least which direction to look. Oh wait, that's like a hall that's a separate hallway. Oh, okay, there's another entrance right there. Alright. What's what's here though? Yeah, this isn't where I came in. This is the empty hallway. Oh, yeah. Collapsed. Oop. Okay, I went away. Darn. <laughs> Darn. Dingus. I think you find a treasure at the end of this? Oh, you can find a fish at the end of this. What's here? <gasps> More glowy sea slugs! <laughs> That's fun. Oh! Aren't you a different fish? Fish, these are you. Look it. Samurai squirrel fish. We found the squirrel fish. I forgot the are samurai after it. Okay, I gotta read their description. I gotta read the description. So the name is impressive. These fish resemble neither samurai nor squirrels. Instead, they have long, narrow bodies with two-pronged tail fins and bright red bodies. They also boast striking white markings along the fins and tail. The scanner find things. Yes, the multi sensor is basically your treasure finder. Like outside of the main store. Yeah, I knew it. <laughs> I remembered. I'm like, I think at the end of this, there's a treasure. It's an oil drum. I'll take it. Well, it's not an oil drum, it's just a metal drum. I think you can find oil, oil drums in this game, but there's other drums full of things. Okay. Let's actually go to the castle proper. 
I have no idea where Ren went, but he he's fine. <laughs> I'm like, Ren, look around. I'm like, where'd he go? <laughs> okay, I think it's those yeah, turn this way. <sighs> oh, here he is. Hi Ren! I'm saying he, but I actually don't know if this is <laughs> the killer whale has a certain gender or not. Because some of them it does tell you. Is it citation? 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 Citations are. Uh... We'll tell... Ooh. Are you a type of rockfish? What are you? Oh, there's a thing. I don't want the small thing. I want. Okay, I'm going to get the small thing. Oh! You're different. What are you? Branch sea slug, but you still glow. Ooh. <laughs> I could be searching around the multi test sensor tool, but I also don't want to use it too much because I that sound will get annoying after a while. And I may be oh, sea robins. Yeah, I know you guys. I see you guys a lot. They look like tiny dragons. Actually, they look like the aquatic version, aquatic red version. Uh, actually, isn't there red dragons in Stardew Valley? And then there's green dragons. That's what these guys look like. <laughs> <laughs> to me, at least. Yeah, here we are in the room! There's some um, more of the blue spotted sprays. I think these guys are lionfish. If I get close to them, I think I get hurt. Luna lionfish! I'll read this one, because people probably are familiar with this one. Large, long dorsal and pectoral fins let this fish move gracefully through water. However, these fins are poisonous and extremely dangerous, even if brushed against. Highly poisonous. The Luna lionfish feels threatened, and it erects its fins and moves towards its opponent to intimidate it. Needlessly frightening this creature can result in being stung by a poisoned fin, followed by extreme pain and an inflammation- oh, an, an inflamed wound. Don't get near the fish. It's actually quite dangerous. Oop. <laughs> what did I just say? <laughs> this is quite dangerous to be underwater. Does Zappy gun do anything? Oh yeah. Uh anything to happen? Oh, yeah, the Zap gun works outside. I actually used it before he came over. Oop, that's a multi-sensor tool. That's not what I wanted, actually. <laughs> I'm just like it. The zap thing. Ooh, yeah. Zappy the fish. But we'll heal up. It can also just pacify for a little bit, so they don't really move around, but you don't really need to worry about for the lionfish. Clearly they don't move all that fast. You guys are really hurt. Oh my god, tiny, tiny fish. Tiny fish. At least you don't start freaking out and running all over the place like some of the other fish. I'm like, I'm just trying to help you! runs away, and I'm like, okay, be like that. See what I care. <laughs> okay, we'll finish it off, but just back with this. I'm getting target practice in. They did put out a new trailer for Luminous. So, we did get to see the UI. Necessarily, but it has more windows. And yes, there is fish that will pass the windows. Yes, it's absolutely kind of creepy. Because one of those fish is Thanatos. And it's not the nice version of Thanatos like in the Hades series. <laughs> like the, um, 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 what are they called? The roguelike. <laughs> I blinked on the, the what the genre of game for a second. Hello. Oh, you're more um. Yeah, Agra. Nigra. Hey. Eh. <laughs> like I don't know how to pronounce. But it's a treasure room. I pushed the wrong button again. Yeah, that's just gonna be what's happening today, isn't it? Oop. Oh god. Okay, right there. <laughs> I'm like I'm immediately right near something. It's a painting! I can only hold 15 things, so we can only grab four more things. Which is another reason why I'm not grabbing everything. Just 
looking for everything. Eek. Lucky. Oh, it's a statue. Oh, it's a good statue. Okay, we'll take it. <laughs> I would be more up in arms as an my little art historian heart here about taking things, but I'm like, it respawns. It is fine. <laughs> Video game logic. We're good. Plus, I think the characters is sort of like, it, they actually record where they get the stuff and things. <laughs> Please don't grab things in real life from sites, no matter, even if it's just a piece of pottery, because that ends up a lot of people doing that, and then there's a significantly less pottery. It, it's pretty bad when um, archaeological sites become tourist spots. Anyway, <laughs> I'll get off my soapbox now. Large tooth grouper. Aren't you? I like his pattern. Ooh, it's the desk room. I remember this room. Stuff happened here. Oh, if I remember correctly. Yeah, King's Chamber. Oh. Did I see something outside the window? Arrow. <laughs> oh. Secret room. Oop. I'm gonna run into the stuff. <laughs> Secret room. <laughs> Let's see if we can find like the last couple of treasures. Oh, well, yeah, immediately. Is it another really good? No, it's not a very good statue, but it is another statue. I hear red. I have no idea where you are, buddy. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, it's ingot. Here, we'll grab an ingot. We haven't gotten an ingot. We got one more thing we can pick up. I don't know if we have the option to throw things away. I think we do. Okay, you know what? It. <laughs> we'll look somewhere else. If we find Rin and he squeaks at something again, we have at least one more, like, there's a treasure or, like, small fish spot. Ooh, there's a fish up high. I know. Another grouper. They kind of make me think of coelacanths. Maybe that's why I kind of like them. Whee! I accidentally did a flip. Is where I wanted to go? Not necessarily. Mermaid's Ballroom. This place is cool. I don't know. There is a special key creature that can show up here. But I don't know if he is in here in the daytime. You are not. Are you not Rin? I don't think you're Rin. Or maybe you are. Who are you? Hey. Let me cook you. Nope, it's not Rin. Because it's too big to be Rin. <laughs> Rin's tiny! He actually is a runt, I think. He's got a scar on his face, and he's the tiny little one. Yeah! False killer whale! Ooh, I like the song. There's actually quite a lot of good songs in here. This place is nice. This is one of my favorite places in the game. Just a hanging out in a ballroom. <laughs> Underwater, full of fish. Does anyone want to be my dance partner? <laughs> I'm being silly. <laughs> Obviously. You got a diamond, the diamond pattern on the floor. Oh, what's the ceiling like? Okay, it's just beams. Nothing too interesting. Ooh, I hope there's ruins in... in Luminous. Uh, okay. I'm like, where am I going? Wait, is there an entryway? That yes, there is. Okay. Oop, nope, 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 nope. Oop. <laughs> She's like, I can't swim through the door. I'm like, I'm not trying to. Oh, sparkles. Oh, it's to look at, it's an old world map, but just highly inaccurate. <laughs> this is a map of the circular earth. It's very inaccurate. <laughs> What an interesting artifact. Was it part of the castle owner's private collection? 
Okay, I can always come back and look at it. And it leaves sparkles! Ooh. What are you guys? Red cor corn wait. Red cornet fish. Oh. You guys are weird. But awesome. Long head hair tail. Huh. Hello there. <laughs> Stick fish. <laughs> You're <right>. Yeah. <laughs> I see it. Honestly surprised I didn't get called that. <laughs> <laughs> Noodle fish. Why are you guys so disparate? Are you more of the like blue green guys? Yeah, blue green chromis. Tiny fish! Ooh. Oh, there's the little. Our fish sticks. Yep. <laughs> Maybe that's why fish. <laughs> Don't get called sticks. <laughs> that's a food. <laughs> you turned it into food. Okay. Another possible interesting point is over here. The underwater gallery. Oh! 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 There's Sanotos! There's the big, big jerk! Yeah! <laughs> I see you there! I'm not scared of you. He can't get you in the castle. <laughs> Unless you glitch out of bounds somehow. Unicorn fish. Oh no, not unicorn fish. Crown rats. I think there are unicorn fish though in here. Is that a, are you a mahi mahi? You are a mahi mahi. Awesome. <laughs> I oh I need to hold this the uh, controller back. <laughs> I keep making it go forward. <laughs> Bicolor. Oh, you're a bicolor pair. I know there's actually- oh wait, that might be the Sahab region. But there is a fish called the Unicorn Fish. I don't know what it's here. Oh god, ringy ring. Oh! You- oh, it's a sea slug. Betharia Arantiaka. Ooh, that's a name. Cardinal fish. You got some big eyes. E. <laughs> what if I give you food? What if I give you food? <laughs> All the wiggles. <laughs> oh, here comes the other one. All the wiggles. Okay. <laughs> wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Yeah. Thanatos. He's swimming back and forth from the windows. I used to not be able to swim down here. <laughs> when he was here. So it would only show up at night. Because he doesn't swim there at night. Oh, whoa, look at that wall. Whoa, look at that decoration. Ooh. <laughs> Okay, now I'm just laughing at myself. <laughs> Look at distraction. <laughs> Architecture. <laughs> You're one of the big groupers, right? That big guy. Yeah, long tooth grouper. You're a really big one. Oh, wait. Where are you guys? I saw some of you before. Lion surgeon fish. Oh! Part of. Part of, like, it's a. Fish. I wonder if it's actually part of the same family of fish, or that's just like a misnamed Ishi or not. Oh, that's a good look at you. <laughs> oh, hello there. <laughs> this is this the game with the aquarium exhibit space to give it? Yes. Blue World has the aquarium. You can put all sorts of fishies. You can't use any of the mythic fish, I don't think. I think that's the only limitation. You can use everything else. But the mythical fishies. Where did he go? I'm like, big nasty guy who with a terrible attitude that always trying to chomp on my butt. Actually, it's more of always smacks me in the face, but, you know. 
Oh, there he is. Hey again. Not at all scary. <laughs> Not in this situation. Obviously, I was scared of him. <laughs> Beforehand. But not here. <sighs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm a little sleepy today. I'm surprised I haven't been yawning more. To be honest. Okay, we're back over here. I've been here. Okay, yeah, this is flying fish that goes up there. Okay. I remember correctly when you're doing the story, the doors open and close <laughs> on you, and it becomes like a haunted mansion. Oh wait, no, that's to the desk. <laughs> Do I? <laughs> okay, try not to yawn and fail. I still like it here. It plays the happy music and look at all the fish. Oh, what? Crescent tail, big eye. Oop, didn't want to do that. So why didn't it just be like, it's just like <laughs> the fight, the uh, rumble went off just furiously. Just fur my controller just starts furiously rumbling. I'm like, what are you doing? Yeah, this place is nice. So okay. Uh, the game music's probably too low. You have to probably turn it up pretty high. I can do that pretty easily, but I... I would put the game music up higher, but a lot of these older games you makes YouTube mad at you if you put up the sound higher. So, unfortunately, I'll have to leave it where it is. <laughs> I don't need YouTube getting annoyed with me. <laughs> Those copyright strikes are pretty scary if you get any. Oh, we got a throat. I forgot there was the chair here. I think there's a lionfish on it. You can have that. I don't need to look at the tiny spot. Let's see if there's a fish around. There is. I'm like, I want to grab one more piece of treasure because I think we have room for one more piece. Painting. Yeah. All right, that is enough. Let's go back to Nine Ball Island, and I can show you. Oh, oh, he showed up over here. Is he following me now? Might be following. <laughs> I'm not sure. At night, there's a different creature that could show up in the windows there. Yeah, we're gonna finally look at the treasures. I got a, I got a couple of them. Three of them? Two or three? I think last screen. <laughs> All the little dots, yeah. But Vulca Castle, yep. Definitely one of my favorite things. And we could just go immediately back, but I'm like, uh, look back. I would I would change the time of day and dive again, but we have a full case of treasure. We got all the loot. <laughs> In the game, it's okay to get all the loot. Again, don't take things from sight. Go to the gift shop. Don't take anything from a site. At least I'm telling you not to. <laughs> For whatever that's worth. Oh, I should get a drink. I should get a drink. Let me open this up and then I'll start moving. I can move and drink. Oh, I forgot about the tiki. Hold on. I just noticed the tiki. What? I forgot what it did. Yeah, we have a tiki. Oh, I think it, you needed to get this to initiate a quest line. Hmm. There's something really odd about the statue. Cool. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure you need to get that. And then it... Because you don't start the game with it. You can purchase I items for your island. I think I... It should, it should have everything. On the anti over. I'm gonna see Nancy for the first time. I did not call her over in my first dream. She's got a hat. <laughs> Hi, lady. Here I am, like a bolt from the blue. What can I do for you? Oh, right, you can change your hairstyles. What hairstyles do we have? 
shot. What the fuck? So you only- <laughs> Is that- oh, The old ponytail in the back? I'm not sure. Oh yeah, you can get bandana. Ooh! I like those hair. But eh. I'll leave it for now. <laughs> I'm mostly just gonna be like, and you can get hairstyles. Frizz out of it. Yeah. That's money. Fuck it. Oh, gold ring. Pearl? Old vellum book. <laughs> Blast me. <laughs> I forgot about this. <laughs> oh dear. Figurine. Sparkling juice. An empty chest. Ornate box. Ooh, fancy. Persian ru- oh. Was that? Watertight? <laughs> Conga drum! What was that doing here? Because that was definitely past the ones we got in the other area. What was a conga drum doing over here? <laughs> in the G and C! Would they even be tele- uh, not teleported. Transported. Over the Mediterranean Sea? I'm confused. I have questions. Shadow statue. Ooh. Spooky. Anakin! Even spookier to some people. <laughs> Fake gold ingot. Ooh. Faded. Another skip. Is that it? Yep, that's it. Okay. What items can you buy? Even. Oh yeah, you can get different outfits. Of course there's bikinis. Yeah. <laughs> this is the equipment thing. Island and reef. Oh, that's the hammock. You can buy some more ch lamb shares, the telescope. Can't see what that is. But yeah, you had to buy the tiki. Oh, I forgot you had to buy the jukebox. And the guitar. Oh, and this is corals. Do we have all the corals for you? Yeah, so I'm like, this game is pretty complete, so... I don't remember what these are. I forgot they're packages of like, some sort. Maybe I should change her hairstyle. I'll show it off, why not? Look at the bottom one. I mean... Just change it back. Money is not a problem. Let's see, I think she had brown hair? Keep brown. Yeah. Oh, it is? I thought she had this hair. Is it? <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> I'm like, I thought she had this just straight hair. It's wavy? I need to look at my character. <laughs> oh, it is the wavy cut. Okay, it's not straight. I remembered wrong and I was not paying attention. Well, I could only see the back of her head, really. But okay, uh... What is this? Oh, you know what? I should probably save. I'm like, I haven't been playing for an hour. It'd probably be a good idea to save. Also, we get to see penguins. Penguinos. Yes, I would like to see penguins. But I didn't show this off last time. We do have a treasure book. I think it's this one. Yeah. I just opened it, I think, with this. I don't think the Yeah, the coins give you little... A gold coin engraved with the constellation Andromeda. Andromeda was saved from a sea monster by Perseus. Just here. Monoceros coin. Gold coin. Okay, and then it always starts with a, a gold coin engraved with blank, you know, blank constellation. Monoceros refers to the mythical unicorn. Okay, Sagittarius coin represents a centaur painting. Oh, pointing. Read that represents a centaur pointing a bow towards Scorpius. They just so on and so forth. We get little tidbits about um, Hydra. Oh, oh, there is a constellation for Hydra. Hmm. Hydra was a beast with nine heads defeated by Hercules. So yeah, get the coins give you little tidbits about constellations. 
<laughs> Leo Minor. <laughs> Invented in the 17th century, close to the constellation Leo. Oh yeah, here's the Leo. A lion's... A lion whose impervious skin became Hercules' cloak. <laughs> I have to read the Leo ones for obvious reasons. Octanes. That's, uh, that's a lot of them. They all have little tree cloaks. <laughs> like, hold on. Yeah, there is! I did see. Phoenix point. Oh. Ophiuchos? What is this? Shows a sclepiwit. Sclepius. Sclepius? Sclepius. Who raised the dead with snake fin. I actually know of more about this, this uh... Skep Sclepius. Because of fate grand order. <laughs> There's an anime pretty boy counterpart in fate grand order. <laughs> I had no idea who that was. That means more. Interesting. I don't think I'm gonna fuck up that <laughs> Ares one. <laughs> That's the last one. That's the goddess. Yeah, Ares is the goddess said to govern strife and discord. <laughs> okay, salvage collection is more interesting one. We got a lot. You can just get a stone. A hey, stone. Nothing of value here. Move along. <laughs> Seashell. Shell. Pretty common. Not particularly attractive either. Granite. Takara. Marble. Malachite! A carver carbonate mineral with a complex, delicate pattern. This beautiful green stone is often used for decoration. Nephrite. It's um, really close to jade, but it's not actually true jade. But it's not exactly false jade either. <laughs> People call it jadeite and nephrite, and both get called jade commonly. But yeah, jade I was obviously to be considered true jade, but the only discernible difference between nephrite and jadeite is chemical composition. Yeah. Pale green stone is a form of jade. It is considered sacred in some areas of the South Pacific. Amber. I think people know about amber. Silver ore. Red coral. It does not look like red coral. <laughs> <laughs> Formed from the skeletons of deep sea coral polyps, red coral is valued for its rich color. Oh, which area has the deep dark deep down? Is that the Zahab region? Because we haven't been down in the depths. Not Gamma at all, it's certainly not. Uh. In the Amazon. Portica River, that was it. <laughs> I can think. Oh, this was gold. <laughs> Ambergeese? Ambergeese is used in perfume. Oh, that's why it sounds familiar. I've heard of this before. And some herbal. Well, obviously, I've heard this before. I've played this game. <laughs> the treasures are actually something I know for a fact I've read through. I, I'm less so about the fish, but the treasures, definitely. Oh, yeah, this is. Yeah. And some herbal medicines. It's formed in the intestines of sperm mile. Appetizing. <laughs> Not really, but yeah. Ambergeese. That's why I've heard of it before. Oh, it's a meteorite. You can just find him. <laughs> Who wants a meteorite? <laughs> Pieces of shooting stars. Meteorites sometimes attract religious worship because of their mysterious origin. They just don't. A treasure sought by medieval alchemists who believed they could change base min metals into gold. Obviously, there. This is. This is not. And you're not. I don't think there's a real life equivalent to this. You might find a gem that looks like that though. Baseball. We're in the round things. Last marble. <laughs> They're not worth very much, but I'm always happy to see them. <laughs> Last bluey. 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 <laughs> I like these too. Um, a relative of mine had had a few glass bluies. They didn't have the rope around them, but whenever I see them, they always have a strangely homely feel to me. <laughs> Cannonball! 
Who delivers? Napoleon delivers. Cannonballs. At speed. <laughs> Internet cookie, if you know where that's from. <laughs> that's the toy. It's a gotcha. We can't escape it. <laughs> it's a gotcha pod. Glass bead. I think those types of glass beads everywhere. Oh, it's a pearl. We just got some one of these. Uh, you know what? I'll read it. It's a pearl after all. Pearls are formed when a mollusk puts layers of calcium carbonate around a foreign object. Pretty! Sign baseball. <laughs> Significantly more more valuable than the regular baseball. Gold charm. There's, there's the mythological. I think each category of um, treasure, the last one is like the mythic treasure, in quotes. <laughs> well, I guess it is mythic in some things, but I guess not all of them have legends around it, but hey, You understand what I mean, I hope. Yeah, Gold-plated staff head. Remember to have wish-granting powers, even if it doesn't work. It's a sweet find. Okay, you know what? I I'm not gonna go look item by item. Oh my gosh, that's skull. What is next to it? That's a crystal ball. Okay, eight-inch diameter ball made of clear crystal. Used by fortune tellers. So much for guessing about the weather. <laughs> and just crystal skull. A mysterious skull carved out of crystal. Of high artistic value. This find is unique. Yeah, and a little spooky. Look at that money. Oh my god. That's a lot of money. Oh my gosh, ship in a bottle. <laughs> ship in a bottle. <laughs> Let's see, what are the... I think it's these three. Panther. Oh. That is magic potion. It's just straight up a magic potion. <laughs> I like the supernatural elements of this game and like myth and a little just for the fun. Created by alchemists in medieval times. This liquid is said to revive the dead or revitalize the living. <laughs> Impressive. Amrita. Some Indian mythology state that this elixir grants internal Yeah, eternal youth. Unfortunately, it takes a thousand years to make. <laughs> That's a long time! Oh, old magazine. <laughs> we go from that to just old magazine. What is especially? Is this part here? Grimoire. A magic textbook from the medieval period. This offers insight into the beliefs and magic spells of that age. Rare book. A monk's collection of strange tales. It has historical as well as esoteric value. It is unquestionably rare. The seventh to <laughs> Wait, Tome. A copy of the seventh volume of the legendary Emerald Tablet. Lost until now. This is thought to be the only copy. And it's worth a lot. I think these you find during special treasure hunts. I don't think you can get muscle. Oh, hey. That gold ring we found is actually pretty high on the ringless face. Is this just a classic? No, this is a plastic toy ring. <laughs> okay. I think it's just this one in the ring. Trident ring. Oh! Though that trident ruins, we went to where the well is. So you can get the Vulca castle. That's where you find that. That's why it's <laughs> aptly named. A very old ring with a triton engraved on it. Some say it once belonged to the sea god Poseidon. I think it's the reason why Thanatos is constantly being a jerk. Also, earthenware pot. A piece of earthenware from prehistoric times with an elaborate untamed design. Pretty wild. Yeah, you might be familiar with this because of Breath of the Wild with the Chica uh, technology. It's a Jormung period. It's a Japanese. I think it's Jormung. I think it's pronounced that. It's been a bit. Oh my god. <laughs> Canopic Vessel, a golden canopic bar containing the internal organs of a pharaoh that were removed from mummification. <laughs> creepy! <laughs> oh, speaking of creepy. It's a doll! Porcelain doll! <laughs> Woo! Oh! The small statue. That's pretty cool. Don't mess with my cords, cat! Good girl. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's so silly. I haven't seen this stuff in so long. Aw, oh, the paintings don't look too much interesting. 
That's really expensive, though. Hmm. Oh. Box. Lock box. An immaculate box, securely locked. Makes no sound when shaken. What could be inside? Really valuable air. <laughs> the shade! <laughs> All the ingot was the lowest quality ingot. Yeah, I think the ingot is just like... Yeah, auricalcum ingot. Said to be an ingot of the legendary metal auricalcum. Plato noted that its presence in the city... Wait, notice it... Yeah. Plato noted its presence in the city of Atlantis. <laughs> this looks like it belongs in a Metroid. Metroid game. tube. <laughs> Creepy. <laughs> oh god. Is that just a computer? Yeah, it is. It's a super computer. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh, hey, I think this is... Yeah, it's sarcophagus. Ephraim's sarcophagus. From Egypt's New Kingdom. 16th to 11th century BC. Engraved with hieroglyph. Don't take them. Give those to a museum. <laughs> oh, there's another one. Oh yeah, the treasure chest. Oh, I remember this one. Boom, treasure. Yeah, that's a rare one. Okay, oh, and that's it. Ocean treasure. <laughs> A lot of money. Artifacts hidden in the tomb of an o Okeanos queen. Opening the chest reveals a sea of gold. What? Inca treasure. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Overview of that. <laughs> All right. Treasure time is over. <laughs> There's a lot of silly things. There's a lot of cool things. There's just a little bit of everything. All right. I think I don't got a whole lot of time, but yeah, let's go. Let's go. Was it the Sahab? That might be where the deep area is. Is over in there. Let's see. I think I want to go. I think it's this way. And I just yeah. What is the way Yeah, I think it's the flat. <laughs> it doesn't tell much for people, but for me, I'm like, yeah, I think it's here. Uh... I mean, this place has cool stuff, if it's the place I think I'm thinking of. But yeah, it's not where the penguins are. But uh, I don't like this place. <laughs> <laughs> but there's cool things here! Okay, we're diving. I am bringing... my orca. His name, I don't remember the, this particular orca's name right now, though I was with him. Makoto, it was Makoto, okay? Makoto, come here, please! <laughs> I am scared! Oh, wait! Do I want to actually bring my narwhal? I haven't brought my narwhal. Hold on. My narwhal makes me feel safe, too. The narwhal's pretty big. Where's my narwhal? Oop, oh, I, okay. <laughs> I clicked that way fast, I didn't get a chance to read the name, but I got my narwhal. <laughs> You're coming with me. I guess this is where you get the narwhal, too. Yeah, then I'm definitely in the right place. I don't like this place, but we're in the right place. I wonder if I can find. Yeah, there's no surprise. There's no treasure and no coral. It's like there's no bottom. <laughs> this is why even I find this place unsettling. Uh, because if you look down, it's just down. Uh, it's just the abyss, and I don't like that. I don't mind deep water. I might not be able to see anything beneath me. Come here. Come here, Ko. Oh, you're named Ko after the girl. So it's a boy's name, I think. You're from <laughs> Oh yeah, there's seals. And they're not I I I mean. Okay. Oop, wrong button. Immediately. And I keep pushing the wrong button. Why am I like this? 
Because I can't see it. It's in behind the chat. <laughs> I can't see what I'm doing. I can't see the button I need to press, so then my brain's like, duh. Ooh! Grumpy shark. Grumpy shark. Nope. Oop. Ah! Rude. <laughs> <laughs> Swim away! <laughs> I forgot there's grumpy sharks here. This does not help. There's other narwhals. <laughs> I'm gonna go by the narwhals. The narwhals are nice. Look at the narwhals. This is what a narwhal narwhal looks like. You're big. That one's tiny. Oh, wait. I think that's... Oh. You're a tiny girl. The species is easily recognized by the male's spiraling tusk, which can be as long as 10 feet. There are rare cases of males with two tusks and females with tusks. Europeans... Oh, wait. See unicorn's horn. Europeans in the Middle Ages believed that a unicorn's horn had the power to negate poison, which made it more valuable than gold. Unicorns may not exist, but the belief in the medicinal power of a single horn was enough to see narwhal horns created at high price. Prices. Yeah, and there is my coworker. <laughs> Let's see, what what does it say for her? No baby sharks to sing them the song of their people. <laughs> no, no, there isn't. The narwhal you befriended in the Arctic, the legendary whale with a crimson tusk. It has a childlike love of dolls and seeks out anything with a human shape, such as sculptures. Yep, she do like her sculpture. I do remember she did. Story reason. Okay. Come on, Ko. I am scared. There's a shark over there. And the sharks are mean over here. I actually I want to go this way anyway, I think. I want to keep Oh, there's another darn shark. Okay, let me low. I'm already on edge. Leave me be. I see. Oh, what are these? I think these are sockeye. Chinook salmon. No, sockeye. They are salmon. I, I would click on them longer, but it might drag me off near the shark. Fish is. Covered in countless small scales. It forms large schools during breeding season and spawns among the coast. Many die young after hatching, and large numbers are washed up on shore. Well, that's unfortunate. To the extreme. Okay. <laughs> oh, now I do a flip. Oh, I think hopefully <laughs> she didn't spin too. If I remember correctly, there should be points among the ice here. But I'm not entirely sure if I can find it. I think it is here. I think there's also. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> Stop to look down. I think. You can also get the ancient mother to show up here. Oh wait, there's birds! Who are you? You're cormorants of some kind, right? Razorbill. No, not cormorants. Those are not penguins. Those are seabirds. Along the edge here. I'm pretty sure. It does have the location, as it said in the beginning, but I just don't know if I can find it. Because it's been so long, I, I'm not sure where I need to go. <laughs> but this is just... <laughs> this is kind of just me screaming into the void. <laughs> uh, I should have looked it up, but... Oh! Oh! Are you... Are you a blue whale, or are you... Yeah, you're just the blue whale. 
I say that as if it isn't cool enough that this is a freaking blue whale. Blue whale! I'm not reading it because again, it's gonna drag me off somewhere. Oh! Oh! Oh, oh, here. That one. That's the ancient mother. <laughs> I'm not getting closer to her because that's too deep and I'm scared. <laughs> What did you find, Ko? I heard you squeaking. You were over here? There's a kind of bird called an... Oh? Their lifestyle's similar to a penguin. So neat. Why? Every time. Leave me alone. I just want to look... Where are you even? I don't know, and now I'm even more scared. <laughs> I don't want to be here. Oh, Ko. Did you find- oh, there's the shark. Oh, there. Thank you, girly. You're the best. <laughs> oh! I forgot you guys showed up here. I remember you now. This small round fish has a large eyes and several small spines on its body and a sucker on its belly. It uses the sucker to secure itself to rocks and present itself from being swept away by the ocean currents. I do want to find something that is here, but I think it's- yeah, you're the guy- only one's here. Okay. Thanks, Poe. I'm here. <laughs> Everything is so mean here, and I keep clicking that. Like, that's the menu that I need to click to go right the ant- grab on and be like, can I have some help? <laughs> my- can my findless self have some help? Uh, but this area... It sucks. <laughs> but it does have the ancient mother. I didn't go up with poker because I'm like, I don't have code. I'm scared. <laughs> There's nothing there. It's literally just deep water. Oop. Don't want to go that way. Going the wrong way. It's really hard to get one's bearings around here, that's for sure. But yeah, she goes... I know I've grabbed onto her, and I've seen, like, the pathway. I'm more familiar with hers. Okay, yeah, we checked. Ah. Oh, ah. Oh, okay. Thank you. You. There's... What are you? Oh! Belugas! Beluga! Canaries of the sea! This dolphin is commonly white. Wait. Oh, this dolphin is completely white with a melon. A round lump of fatty tissue protruding from its forehead. The melon can change shape slightly. It has a thin protrusion on its back, but no real dorsal fin. And its scientific name means wingless white dolphin. It lives in a groups of up to thousands or even more. Oh, I didn't. I forgot about that. Like hawk without the H sound. Oh, hawk. <laughs> that sounds silly. <laughs> But also kind of cool at the same time. <laughs> All right. Cool. Do you find anything here? Oh, oh, there's one here. Oh, no, it's more of these guys. I think it's out not in one of these holes. Which is like the worst thing. Wait, wait, wait. Where have I been? Let's check the dog. Okay, it might be up there. I'm, I'm not gonna swim with Poe, because it's actually pretty small, actually. Oh, that's scary. <laughs> it's a lot scary, though! <laughs> no baby beluga song today. <laughs> Wait, is there a song about belugas? I didn't know that. I know about, like, the narwhal song, there's the baby shark song. No, I will not be singing, though. <laughs> if you really want to hear that, there's probably better people for it anyway. I'm not much of a singer. Oh! Oh! There she is! 
You came up here! Hi! Ancient mother! See? I, I will check her description back at base if you want me to. But if I stare at her, I'll get pushed elsewhere. I think there's a shark this way. Hi, Ko. <laughs> Please stay nearby. I'm so scared. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not a happy camper. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, there is a shark. There is a shark. No. I'm gonna go swim this way. I wanna get up to the sector, but. Eh. I think it's in one of these, like, more privacy areas you can find little looky loo things. Either that, I'm in the wrong area. I'm not entirely sure. Because again, it's been a long while since I've looked for this. I could be in the completely wrong area. But I did want to show the ancient mother. So that makes it worth it. But I'm like, I think there's one more? But again, I could be completely wrong. I might be completely wrong. But we found the blue whale. And we found the ancient mother. And quite honestly, I'm at my limit now. I'm going back to the boat. Too spooky for Leo. <laughs> oh, she was squeaking at something. Oh, that could have been the thing. Oh well, I'll check the encyclopedia. I may, it may be the other Arctic place. Obviously, it's a little hard to tell which Arctic place from the other. <laughs> but I did find the ancient mother, and I got a good look. I got to click on her to show you guys. So that makes me happy because that was finding her was the big thing for the. I feel like there's something that shows up when there's a snowstorm like this. Yeah, there's a good song called Baby Blue I don't... If I heard that, I definitely have forgotten it. I know. <laughs> We're leaving. We're going back to the island. I need to go check the encyclopedia. I might have gone to the wrong area. And by might, I mean I have a high suspicion I went to the wrong area <laughs> for one of the things I want to look for. I went to the right area for the Ancient Mother. I did remember correctly she is over there. <laughs> like, she she is she is there. I gotta show her off. Yay. <laughs> I also gotta say I, be, I went there. <laughs> There's not too much to look at. And it's very scary. <laughs> I hate it. I rarely go there. <laughs> That's probably if you could tell which areas. Like it save which individual areas. Um like, uh, hmm. how to put it. Uh how much time you spend in each individual area and had like area stat. That one would be easily by a large <laughs> Oh, it's on YouTube. Like, yeah. Oh, oh, is it? Well, maybe I'll give it a listen. I don't know if I actually will. <laughs> see. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna look. Where are you guys? Wow. Oh, well, not Gamma at all. Default, yeah. Uh, Default, by the way. There is an entrance, like, right on this aisle here. And it goes there. Yeah, Cicero Strait. St. Velka Castle, we were here. I was right! You do find them. Oh, yeah, I couldn't look for them anymore. It's near the shark! But there's also apparently one over there. Oh, you can find them here, but I don't know if it's the one I want. <laughs> yeah, sea angel, and these are sea butterflies. I keep calling sea angels sea butterflies, but they're not. This is a sea butterfly. Yeah. This member of the mollusk family has parapodla. Wait, podia. Parapodia. A special wing like legs that he, it uses to swim while floating. It is related to the sea angel, but also preyed upon by it. The angels are smallish. Yes, they are. They're very tiny. Oop, that was wrong thing. 
With its translucent body and wing-like legs, it's easy to see how this creature got its name. It is related to the shellfish. Oh wait, it's related to shellfish. It has a shell when born, but loses the shell as it matures. Not so angelic, question mark. Approaching its prey, it opens its mouth, found between two horn-like projections on its head, and sends six tentacles out to catch its food. These tentacles are what makes its transparent head look red. It lives on small floating shellfish called sea butterflies. I don't know if I click it. Yeah, no, I click it. I do it. But yeah, you can kind of see there's like a little indent on the top of its head. That's his mouth. <laughs> it's so cute. And then you realize what it's actually like, and then it's kind of creepy. <laughs> but I was looking for those guys. I was right. But yeah, Ice Cupid here. That's what I was looking for. I think Ice Cupid can only be found in blizzards over in there. Yeah. But I think it's only in the blizzards. Yeah, I was trying to see if I could find it out in the wild. But no. <laughs> I had to be in it. I had to probably dive back down once it became a blizzard. Because it is called Ice Cupid for a reason. I, I read it it's the little thing already. But I did say... Oh, oh yeah, you get... Yeah, we saw you in the beginning of the stream. <laughs> Gunnir. Oh yeah, Phantom. Phantom is the one that shows up in the ballroom in Valka Castle. But he only shows up at night. Yeah, Lady Dorothea! I think she's also another one that's only at night. Where is the ancient mother? Ew. See the camp! I, I'm just always gonna get inside by see the camp. Ooh! What if I designed an Art Nouveau see the camp? That'd be so cool! That would be really cool, wouldn't it? That would be really cool. Hello, Phantos. Big jerk. Okay, is it bad when I keep seeing Black Harbinger? I keep thinking of Tartaglia from Genshin Impact. Because <laughs> he's a, he, what, he's the 11th Fatui Harbinger? <laughs> it's just like Tartaglia. <laughs> I'm really bad. Can you tell, tell who's my favorite? It probably doesn't help that he's voiced by Griffin Burns, and I apparently like Griffin Br Burns' voice acting chops. I'm like, you did a good job, buddy. Yeah, here we go, Ancient Mother. I'll read her thing, because I said I would. I just didn't do it then. <laughs> it's seriously stressful being there. <laughs> I haven't gone to street without having a moment where I'm stressed out. <laughs> I just realized I spent, like... 90% wait no it's more like 95% of these streams just like yay fish and then there's the 5% where I'm like I don't want to be here <laughs> it really did be like that I'm like I understand how scary this game is it just it usually isn't for me yeah ancient mother I, I'm pretty sure I read this last stream but you know I'll read it again a new species of baleen whale discovered a few years ago in the Manoa Lai Sea of Pelago, South Pacific. Attract- <laughs> I'm sorry if I, I probably pronounced that terribly, but I'm trying. Please look at the screen if you want to see the words. <laughs> Attracting attention from all over the world. There's little known about it, its ecology and behavior, though your recent discovery shows that it migrates from the South Pacific to the Arctic Ocean and back again. Its scientific name is also yet to be decided. Okay, I don't think I actually might have read this. I might have just shown them off. Twilight of the Sacred Mother. This whale, known as the Sacred and Loving Ancient Mother, has been worshipped as an origin of all life in Pelago since ancient time. Searching for her, harming her, or hunting for her were seen as blasphemy. Since she was confirmed to really exist, however, these beliefs started to fade away. Souvenir shops at Pelago's capital have already started making Ancient Mother <laughs> merchandise. That's so silly! <laughs> That's so silly! I forgot about that! <laughs> but yeah, she's a big whale! I like her. The singing whale. 
Okay, who was at the end? Oh, yeah, you. I don't like you. You're dark. Oh, yeah, this little guy. This one. Maybe I could go back to Valarka Castle quickly at night because I did mention this guy also shows up at Val Valarka Castle at night. But also Thanatos is at the ruins. Ow, my ears are starting to hurt. Hold on. My big fluffy poor ears. Ah. <laughs> okay. You can't see it. I have them invisible. But I got little head phony clippy things. More like an ear thingy. I need to adjust them though. Apparently, they are hurting. <laughs> oh, there we go. Hit this side. Like they're squishing my ears in an unfortunate way. Maybe it's because I have. Okay. Is that better? That's better. <laughs> that is better. <laughs> All right, let's go to nighttime Volca Castle because I want to show Phantom at night. I know it's not a new place, but I do want to show. <laughs> I also kind of want to go down the depths, but that might be safer later. Uh, we also haven't gone to Deep Hole. That one. I'm gonna start crying. Oh, what? Wrong region. I'm stupid. We did end up going to the last two areas. Well, nearly the last two areas. I did want to quickly this and maybe a quick little peeky peek. Well, I can probably go a little further. So then we can go to the other AI area. That way we have gone to all the main areas, even if we haven't explored every nook and cranny on stream. But you'll have seen them all. <laughs> And that counts for something. We gotta make it night. Even though I don't want it to. Oh. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we can see the aquarium. We could save the other icy area for a different day, maybe. Though it also may not be. Oh, yeah. These guys do actually have their own skills. I just tend to want to bring the dolphins. I'm gonna bring Ren again. Come on, Ren. We're going home. We're going back to your home. Well, I guess your home is... Okay, I would go here. Can I go? Okay, no, we're going here. <laughs> if we're too close to the nasty shark guy, I'm probably going to scream. If I scream, I'm really sorry, because that might hurt your ear. <laughs> oh, this game. It is the chillest of games, and it is the scariest of games. <laughs> There's no in-between! <laughs> There's no in-between! We're immediately heading north. And I, I just realized there's also a compass. Yeah, we're heading north. We're hugging the wall. Because I just want to get to the well without getting a giant shark on my booty. Because I just want to go to Valka Castle. Is he actually over there? Can I see him? I don't want to see him. <laughs> I also usually only play in the daytime. <laughs> I was not the one playing during the nighttime excursions. That was either my twin Savoria or the third person I mentioned that played this game with us. <laughs> they, they were not so easily fruck out like... Well, both of them weren't so easily fruck out as I am. I'm a big old coward. Okay. This is where... Yeah, it has a little ringy ring. Probably has something new, but... I just want to get in this well before I chicken out and I back out because Thanatos... Okay, that was a transition thing. My heart dropped. I thought it was going to be a cutscene of that guy showing up and whacking me in the face. <laughs> oh, all the anxiety. Okay, but anxiety be gone. We are in Valka Castle, and the only thing that can hurt us here is the lionfish. And they don't even try to attack you. That's just if you're dumb and get too close to them. <laughs> so it's like, if you don't get close to them, you're fine. <laughs> Which is pretty easy to do, to be honest. 
Like, stay out of the fish's way. Hi, Ren. Is that an octopus? Yeah, there's an octopus. Oh, there's another octopus. There's two octopuses in here. I wonder if the fish changed. Oop, there's the bicolor parrotfish. They look quite different. They're just dark. Okay. We're up to these guys. Oh, you know what? The hair. Oh, no, wait. Never mind. Nearly spoke too soon. The hammerheads are still here. Hello. Hello, hammerheads. That's pretty cool to see. Not gonna lie. Okay, uh, this way? This way. Hi! What are you doing? Don't mess with my cords there. Squirrely noises. <laughs> yeah, I squirrely noises you too there. <laughs> okay, you have not paid attention enough. <laughs> Did you like the acrobatics? <laughs> Getting distracted by the kitty. Okay. Yeah, the galley is up there. Let's see if it spawned it. I don't think it's a 100% chance of it showing up. But we'll see if we got lucky. Phantom should show up at night. Oh, oh yeah, there. Are these different? Oh! Oh, we can see the glow, though. Here, let me put the camera. See? They do have glow. <laughs> these look like glow still. Yeah. I should have gone here at night, but if I was smart, but I didn't think about it in time, it's kind of like, oh well. <laughs> yes, I know there's the line bit, but they are not getting close enough. Okay, yeah. So it's through here, and then it's in the corner over here against the hallway. And it's gonna say there's line fish there, and I'm like, I know, I'm good, we're good, it's okay. I think it's usually best to be patient and wait out a window. I'm not entirely sure. I might have to go up to one of the windows to get it. Oh, there it is! There it is! See it? It's the shrimpy thing! <laughs> oh, wait, I say that as this. Wait, where's my camera? It's usually zipping around. You did show up. Where'd he go? Oh, did he already go somewhere further? Oop. Okay, let me let me let me zoom in out. <laughs> oh wait, no, it's down there. Okay, let me go to the other window. Oop, oop, oop. Holding the controller too close. Oh. Okay, I forgot you still showed up. I thought you only. Sh I thought you. Okay. Whatever. Is it going to move a little shrimpy? Or did it turn around? I, I don't blame you. Dantos is a big jerk. <laughs> I want to avoid him for a reason. Oh yeah, I think it turned around. Oh wait, no, no, no. No, it didn't. No, it didn't. I need her. See? See? It's huge. <laughs> that is an extinct creature, but video game. It's alive. And it's a shrimp! Kind of critter thingy. Yeah. <laughs> I have been told people uh, miss that one because Thanatos struck him out. But I, I have heard a few other players who bravely looked out the window at night and found that thing and found it scarier than Thanatos. <laughs> Which. Makes me giggle a bit, to be honest, but also I completely understand. Okay, I'd go a little further. <laughs> but yeah, like, the things that freak us out. I, I think it's pretty universal, any of the, um... Oh, I forgot there was cables and stuff. I wasn't really paying attention to the ground. Now, this is the ballroom, right? Wait, no, this is not the ballroom. The ballroom is in here. <laughs> this is where the map was. This is the ballroom. <gasps> and there's the boy! There is the man! There is the man! Okay, let's see if I can look at the- look at underneath. He's got a cool bark. I- I- am failing that movie, though. Hi! Oh, I should take out the camera. It's being camera mode. 
But yeah, I just wanted to show Phantom off, because he's really cool. And he doesn't try to bite you. Unlike the sharks. <laughs> he's a gentleman. Yeah, he's got... See, he's got full cool pattern. What do you pop then, actually? <laughs> I guess you'll have to freeze frame that. I don't know if I can... Yeah, I can't come down anymore. Can I zoom out? Oh yeah, I can. That might help. Let me try again. Yeah, we got Phantom. Oh no, he's just gonna... He's too big. He's too big for the game's mechanics. He does have a unique pattern on his belly. They say it's a coat of arms. But I'm not so sure. Oh, I think I can click on it. <laughs> he's too big. Phantom! He's really cool. This is the jet black manta seen in the silent ruins of Valka Castle. This foreboding creature roams the deserted ruins like a ghost. There is a superstition among the inhabitants of the Cerro Strait that the spirit of those who died at sea return as raised. Could this really be the former owner of the castle, the prince himself? I don't know, but he's nice. <laughs> Phantoms of Valka Castle. Volca Castle, built by an Eastern European prince in the 16th century, was said to be haunted even before it sank into the sea. The ghosts were probably the vengeful spirits of peasants or enemy soldiers executed by their cruel ruler. This explains why Prince Volca became obsessed with the occult and mysticism in his later years. Yeah, not a great person. Oh, 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 just as you were starting. There's the belly. There's the belly. Thank you. See? Phantom's nice. Phantom's cool. This is why it's worth raving past freaking Thanatos. Go visit Phantom. <laughs> and look at him. He's in the ball. He's so majestic. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, let's go. I've been asked to go to the aquarium, and I gotta show Phantom. That was the main reason. And I gotta show the shrimpy! And that's the main reason why I wanted to come here. So let's go. <laughs> let's go to the aquarium. I don't know what it looks like, because I think that part... Just like I mentioned before, I've played this game, but the file I shared with my sister is, on, is saved onto my Wii. So this is played by another person, like, for the mainline stuff. <laughs> but it's not too far off. Oh, I forgot to go check what I named, what me and my sister named our critters. Because obviously this was more of that aforementioned third person <laughs> file. So like, yeah, the aquarium is in Japan because it's uh, Hayako. She works, uh, Hayako Sakurai works there. So yeah. We get access to the aquarium because we're buddies with her. Which, you don't start out with Hayako and Gigi on your team. It's only Oceana and Jean, the old guy. Not <laughs> everyone's here. <laughs> it looks like the aquarium's popular. That's cool. Okay. So I think, yeah, that's just the main tank. It's just silhouettes of people to like indicate popularity. What is in the tank? Can we sleep around here? Not a whole lot. Okay. That, I think, is the staff. But I think... Yeah, that's the exit. I don't want to go there. Yeah, it's the elevator. Yeah. Small Lord Gallery. I think, can you walk around? Okay, no, it's just here. Hi! <laughs> and you can see you put coral fishies in here. I know I might be blocked. Hold on, let me look. Yeah, okay. <laughs> like, I think I'm blocking the coral. But you have a list of fish you can put in. I think, yeah, all this is like big. They, you have a little tile, so it's basically put in the tiles. But I'm not gonna mess with it. I don't really need to, but you can put different fish in here. Ooh, I don't, have we seen you? Oh, it's a sea goldie. Here's a close-up on the sea goldie. This is really good for showing um, close-ups. I think these are the baby. 
Harlequin sweet. Sweet? Sweet lips. Sweet lips. Young. This is one of the damsel. Demoiselle. Fish. Oh, I think this one's yellowtail clownfish. Oh no, it's not the tomato one. Okay. There we go. That's what's in here. <laughs> I'm glad you like the aquarium. Oh, here's the deep. Ooh, we can get a taste of the deep. Oh, it's a Venus. Venus. Venus basket. Venus's flower basket. I, I won't read the name. We might be able to find one in the deep. Sea gooseberry. I think these are little angler fish of some kind. Yeah, humpback angler fish. They're so tiny. There are a larger angler fish. Oh, wait, there's crabs. Are these crabs? Yeah. Gallothred. Gallothred? Gallothred? I'm not sure how to pronounce that last bit. Is it named after Gal- Okay, I'm actually here. Are you named after Galahad? I'm just skimming through this. Huh. No. Okay, it doesn't say. If I want to know why it's named what it's named, I'm gonna have to look that up elsewhere. Boo. <laughs> Hi! Oh! Hi! Hold on, we got a visitor! Hi! 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 <laughs> yeah? Yeah? I'm right here. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear that. Kitty purrs. Ah! <laughs> you just boop me in the nose with your entire head. <laughs> No, no, no. Don't mess with the cords. What is with you and cords today? You may stay on my lap, though. Yeah. <laughs> She's kidding. <laughs> Why do you always mooch an hour before you get your mushy food? If you're really that hungry, I know there's food out for you. We do not starve the pets in this house. <laughs> but there's a kitty. I'm sorry, I'm getting very distracted because she jumped up off my lap. <laughs> Okay, Dusty Rock Cod. Those are sea angels. Oh, this is one of the little lump. Al yeah, Atlantic's tiny lump sucker. Lovely name there. These are krill. Antarctic krill. Tiny. Yeah, these are the things big giant creatures eat. Like whale sharks and baskadine sharks and a lot of the baleen whales. Eat copious amounts of these little guys. <laughs> That's what they look like. And the last little area of the small tanks. Yeah. Oh, it's a tiny catfish! <laughs> okay, now it's catfish. Maybe a catfish? Scarlet Trim Pelico. Got it here. Guppy Red. It's a guppy. Marble piranha. Sometimes I forget there's different types of piranhas. Yeah. These are not like the red bellied ones that we normally see in like media. They're polka dotted. Banjo cat. <laughs> oh, I love that name. I love that name. Okay, let's go see what we actually have in the big. big tank. Oop. Yeah. <laughs> For how loud you wait, if I put the mic near you. Hi. <laughs> you got it. It's a kitty purse. <laughs> okay, we got a teeny tiny fish. Oh, it's an ore fish. Ooh. Oh, oh, wait, wait. He's a butterfly fish. Speckled butterfly fishy. Oh, I like butterfly fish. Can I swim like in the boat? Yeah! Butterfly fishy! I like them. I like the butterfly fish. Hello, people. <laughs> you can still see the silhouettes of everybody. Yeah, this is a boar fish. Ooh, where do you find them out in the wild? I don't remember. Is it in the cavern of the gods? Oh no, it's down in the deep! 
Oh, I can use this attack. Man, you are happy. <laughs> yeah, that. That's the deep. It is in the Sahab region. Yeah, right in there. That's a significant area. <laughs> Cavern of the Gods. Not in there. Oh, it's a narwhal! <laughs> we have narwhals in here! Oh, you guys are probably the ones I was seeing when I was outside. You're just staring at me. Hi! Oh, and we got Spick. Wait, no. Is it specific common dolphin or is it just like short? Short beak common dolphin. Okay. Yeah. Oh, oh, you're different. What are you? Pilot fish. What are these orangey red ones? What are you? Crescent tail big eye. Oh. Hello. You are very brightly colored. You can't see a lot of these things from the guy. Oh! It's some of the... What was it? Red robin? Robin. Sea robin. Yeah, we saw those in Volca Castle. Oh. We haven't seen these guys elsewhere. Crown of thorns, star... Starfish. <laughs> you should use sea star. Sea star. Those, those are pretty cool starfish. I think they're one of the most unique looking sea stars. I'm gonna accidentally say star... Ooh. Wait, is that just a single <laughs> vampire squid? <laughs> what an eclectic group of creatures in here. Yep. Single little vampire squid minding its own business. <laughs> this would not work in real life. Okay, those are rock. Oh, I could. Oh, there's lobster over there. Oh, well, yeah, with the lobster spotted, that was last of the creatures in here. Hello. Obviously, it does not work off of real aquarium rules. I highly doubt this Victor creatures could put coexist in one aquarium but in a video game aquarium sure why not <laughs> hello i think i'm all <laughs> i like the light streaming through still i do like the water effect i know they used that in persona 3 reloaded and i noticed that and it did kind of make me think of this game i'm like oh i've seen that plenty of times and i'm like where Things for a second. Oh, yeah, that was the fish game. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, let's see. We haven't been to Deep Hole in Gamma Atoll. We haven't really swam around too much of Gamma Atoll, but like plenty of places there we haven't seen. Um. Yeah, obviously the deep. We haven't been there. And we haven't been to the Weddell's Wendell? The Wendell? Yeah, Wendell Sea? Yeah. Okay, let's get out of here. Oh, not that. I'm blocking it. How do we get out? No? Do I just push? Oh. I do this. Leap tank. <laughs> yes. There we go. There's what the aquarium looks like. <laughs> I wasn't expecting to go here today, but we did. Oh wait, can I just leave from like wherever? No. Huh. You do have to go over to the door. Alright. <laughs> like, can I just leave? <laughs> yeah, let's... Yeah, Wendell C. We haven't been there. But, yeah, we'll save that for if I ever play this some other time. So, let's see. I think by the time I mean, hmm, I don't, I'm not planning to play it next week, but maybe the week after that, because actually two weeks from now, so there's the 25th next week, the week, the one week for now, and then the second is May 2nd, and that's when Endless Ocean Luminous comes out, so. I guess if you had fun here, maybe look into that game. It's so, it's going to be different. It's definitely different from this version. But it is going to be a good time by the look of it. It is still 
go around and look at fish. And they've already shown off some of the legendary ones, like that shrimp I showed today. I keep calling it a shrimp. It's not actually a shrimp, but I'm going to call it that. I know it's wrong. <laughs> Please don't yell at me. <laughs> I'm just, I can't remember. I'm not very good at pronouncing its actual name. <laughs> I think that can be forgiven, yes. <laughs> so yeah, the, the ancestor to shrimp in other crustaceans, I imagine. It's... It got shown off in a trailer, and there was a shark of some kind with, like, mineral bits on it, and they have glow creature, like, glow stuff. Like, algae, I think it said in the trailer, where you can get off of it in Luminous, which makes the Luminous... Luminous. It's Luminous, not Luminous. 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 <laughs> subtitle. <laughs> Make more sense. So, it's gonna be different, but I think this will be good. Because it sounds like it'll make it more fun to explore, because it's not necessarily set maps. It might have set maps. I'm not sure. And, you know, it's not out yet fully, so... They haven't shown... I think it doesn't have set maps, but it, I think you can save it, like I was saying earlier in the stream, but... We'll have to see how it works. <laughs> we'll see. I am just happy that we're going to get more Endless Ocean. We're going to get more fish game. I'm like, I hope there's more creatures that I haven't seen. Like, I, I mean, in the first game, there is a really cool cave area you can go to, and there's no equivalent of the, that underwater cave, which just looks really cool that's here in Blue World. So I'm like, all the games are still surprisingly worth playing still. It's kind of awesome. Like, they all have their own pros and concessions. Positives and concessions, that's it. So, pros and cons. <laughs> or consequences. Concessions and consequences kind of get swapped out depending <laughs> exactly what the pros and cons are. <laughs> But anyway, I hope that's looking forward, and I hope you had a good time with this one. If you did, leave a like. I would appreciate it. And, um... Yeah, may leave any comments if you feel feel free to. Maybe you <laughs> want to point out some kind of fish. If you want to learn... If you're wondering of the limited fish that are in here, or otherwise aquatic life, maybe be like, do they have, you know, X creature in this game? And maybe I can yay or nay it. <laughs> Though you probably can Google that. I, I think the what is and is it in the game is pretty well recorded, but hey. <laughs> or if you want to gush about your favorite aquatic life and give cool fun facts, that's also cool. I would actually enjoy that. <laughs> I mean, that is kind of a good part of this game is finding out about the fish, so. <laughs> aquatic fun facts. I know they can get dark. Don't leave dark things in my comment section. I, I don't think YouTube would like that very much anyway. <laughs> anyway. There, it is what it is. But, uh, also, if it is what it is, if you have been enjoying my streams or you're interested in seeing more, maybe consider subscribing. You don't have to. I'm just suggesting. <laughs> it's just a suggestion. Or a consideration. Be the better word. Mm-hmm. <laughs> But anyway, uh, that is it for today. I really hope everyone who's a subscriber, or maybe you just happened upon here, or maybe you watched the VOD, where however you managed to find your way here, I'm very much grateful. <laughs> Especially my nieces. That's why you're here. Nieces, nieces. Nieces, nieces, nieces. <laughs> very grateful. But regardless, I have varying degrees of gratitude to you, you all. <laughs> Because you're spending your precious time to watch the streams here. So, I'm grateful. Uh, but with that, I will leave you all with a fun bye-bye, as I usually do, as I hope to see you another time. <laughs>